Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to show you a very quick tutorial on how I did all of these beautiful snowflakes without actually stamping on the penguins here. So you have that beautiful look of those snowflakes all the way around um, and in and about all of those penguins, but yet there aren't any snowflakes actually on the penguin. So it's a very quick and simple technique. Um, I used the Snow Place stamp set, which is this adorable one here with the penguin and the snowman, and you can really build them to be um, however you wish. There's also a coordinating framelit set that cuts out all of these little intricate pieces, which is super fabulous. Of course, you can bundle and save whenever you purchase those two together. Today I actually just used um, all of them on a flat piece, so I didn't actually cut out any of those pieces. So let's get started on how I created that. I started with a piece of Whisper White cardstock measuring four inches by five and a quarter, and I went ahead and I stamped my two penguins in uh, Memento Black. So I have my two little penguins there and they're holding hands, which is why I kind of put them close together like that. And then I did the little uh, Pacific Point bow tie on the boy and the Melon Mambo little earmuffs on the girl there. And then uh, for this one, I just used my pumpkin pie marker and uh, colored in the little feetsies and the little nose. So then for the snowflakes, that's actually this image here, and it's all three snowflakes together as one stamp. So I have that here, and I'm going to be using some pool party ink. So I'm just going to ink them up and just start stamping around and moving it a little bit, um, you know, differently and rotating so that all of the stamped images don't look identical. So just sort of fill in and be sure to fall off your piece of paper so it actually looks like it's continuing on and not um, so tight. And then when you get near the penguins, just rotate your image to where there's a snowflake really close but not on top or touching. And then, oh, we need another little one there on the corner. And then I'm just gonna stamp this little one right there underneath his feet to look like it's all around. And I'm gonna rotate and do a different one underneath her feet just so it looks a little different. And again, we're gonna get over here by him on the side. Oh, and I'm gonna rotate it around and do this one. And then to get in between there, I'm just going to take a post-it note and do a little bit of um, masking. So I'm just going to ink it up, and then I kind of want that one right there in the middle. So I'm just going to turn this around so that the mask is actually covering up the two big ones, and only that little one is going to be stamped. So there, now I have that little snowflake right there between the two of them. And again, I'm going to do a similar technique with up top. But instead of doing that little one again, I wanna do one of the bigger ones so that it doesn't look like it's all the same. So that one there will fit right between the two of them. How cute is that and how simple? Just a little, little piece of scrap paper or a post-it note or something just to sort of mask those areas so that you're not stamping on top of your little penguins and so that they still show up as your focal point and then you know you're still getting it in and around them so that it doesn't look so blah um, and like there's a no snow zone around the little penguins so super fabulous the other little trick I wanted to show you I use some of the the new fabulous little glitter ribbon there you can actually color that I did not color it for this sample but I have some here isn't that gorgeous and sparkly and it also comes with gold in the package too which is super sparkly I'm just going to take my melon mambo marker and I turned it upside down so it's not like the the crunchy glittery side it's the back side and I'm just going to marker it up and color away and you'll see that that color comes through on the front side isn't that fabulous I love that see you could always add that there as just a little extra pop of color instead of having that iridescent look there you could have that beautiful pink look, which would go so perfectly with her little earmuffs. 
Love it. Super fabulous. Be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, so that you can see more photos of this image and then, of course, many other ones that are from the holiday mini catalog. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.